Good morning. This is Ryan Ortiz with Vision Computer Solutions. Just wanted to share with you some quick tips and tricks on how to better utilize Outlook. Um, one of the things that I've found in my career is the fact that I've always sent off an email and then I look at it and I say, oh my gosh, I forgot to include this or I forgot to potentially include another member of my team on the email string. And going back and doing that, unfortunately, is not always a quick fix. So going through and finding best practices to be able to utilize those tips and tricks are critical to your business success. So we're going to step through it. So one of the ways that we talk about is actually delaying emails. So in Outlook, you can actually go over to the file tab. In the file tab, you want to scroll down to where it says rules and alerts. In the rules and alerts, you can do a lot of things. Of course, you can set things to different folders and whatnot. But a little known trick is to actually delay your emails. So we're going to step through that real quick. So if you click on where it says manage rules and alerts, and what you're going to do is you're going to create a new alert to actually manage your emails to delay them. Now, I've already set this up previously, but I'm going to step through the process to do that again. So in this case, what you're going to want to choose is you're going to want to say new rule, and this is going to apply specifically only on messages that you're sending outbound. At that point, you're going to say, okay, I want this rule to apply after I send the message and click on the next button. Here on the rules wizard, I would skip everything because you're going to want this to apply to everything you're sending outbound if you're going to want to delay that particular email string. Click on the next button. And again, it's going to stipulate this rule will be applied to every message you send. Is this correct? Click on yes. At this point, this is where it gets fun. You want to go down and you want to click on the one that says defer delivery by a number of minutes. If you scroll down to the very bottom where it says step two, apply this rule after I send the message delivery by a number of minutes. In this particular queue, you have a maximum delay of 120 minutes. So in this case, what we're going to choose is two minutes. Once you say OK, it will set up that as a rule for all of your outbound emails. You click on next. And again, here you just want to click on next again. This is where you can actually then specify the name for the rule. So since we had delete emails, I'm going to put that in again. You're going to want to just click on finish. Of course, by default, it's going to say turn on this rule. Click on OK. Click on Apply. Click on OK. And when you go back to your email box, right off the bat, you're seeing there's nothing in my outbox. But when I send a new email, it's actually going to delay that email. So when I send that off, it's literally sitting in my outbox queue. Now I'm connected to my network but it's going to sit there for two minutes before it's sent. The good news about that is if I forgot to add somebody to this email, if I forgot information, I can literally double click it and say, I forgot to add this. It will actually then go into your sent email folder. Hopefully this tip and trick helps you out.